Hey, hey, welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. I'm Stormy, and if you're new here, this is a place where I love to share all about my lifestyle, which is a high carb, low fat, whole food, plant based, no oil diet and it's more than a diet like I said it's a lifestyle and this is the place that I share recipes tips tricks and how I have lost um, 80 pounds since starting a whole food plant-based diet a year ago so today I want to talk about meal prep so let's go ahead and see what's in store First thing that I'm going to get started is some squash and some sweet potatoes and regular potatoes and I'm simply going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees and bake it for 40 to 60 minutes until everything is done and tender and some of the squash may end up cooking a little quicker than the other you might just want to keep a watch on it but I have a variety of squash and regular sweet potatoes and Japanese sweet potatoes and regular potatoes like I said and I'm just going to throw them right onto the baking pan and let them go and then I'll work on other things while that is cooking. So the next thing that is going in is I'm going to make some hummus this week and I also want to have some delicious creamy chickpeas ready. Um, so I'm going to put them in my Instapot. I'm using them from dried. Now I'm going to onion and add in an extra flavor and you can put whatever seasonings you want to in it. I like them just plain because they're so creamy and delicious and I ended up cooking three cups of beans and you can do whatever amount suits you but I ended up using two cups for the hummus that I will make uh, in a little while and I'm going to use the other cup to put on salads or eat with rice or whatever I may find that suits me that day whenever I'm in the moment and I need something quick fast and easy. good tip is to cut up some veggies and have them ready to go as well. I'm cutting up carrots and celery and then I'm also going to make some pickled onions uh, which couldn't be easier. So what I like to do is cut up the veggies and put them in a mason jar and add fresh water and they will last all week and stay crispy and delicious and they are ready at the drop of a hat. So for the pickled onions, you just simply slice up onions really thin uh, in any way that you like to eat them. 
and then you're gonna stuff them into a jar and fill it up with boiling vinegar. So what I like to do is, it usually gives me a little bit more vinegar than what I need, but I'll take the jar and I will fill it up about three quarters of the way and pour the vinegar into the a pot that I'm gonna boil it in and then go ahead and bring it to a boil and as soon as it comes to a boil I take it off and pour it into the um, onions and it just gives you a nice delicious onion to put on top it's so good on top of uh, salads because it brings so much flavor and it's got that vinegar punch along with a mild onion taste and it's just really delicious and I love to use the red onions because it's beautiful and it turns a bright gorgeous pink So the potatoes and squash are done. I'm gonna pull that out and let them cool. I just store them in the refrigerator as is without a lid on it inside of a container. And the squash, I will put a, a lid on the container because I do want the squash to stay moist for whenever I'm ready to eat it. Um, but I love doing this like for uh, my fall prep because it's seasonal and it's delicious. The squash have a lot of fiber and water and that keeps you full for a long time along with the starches that are in the potatoes. And then you can just add in some rice or lentils. I actually have some lentils and rice that I just cooked up um, probably last week and I couldn't eat all of it so I took it and put it in a mason jar and froze it and now I can take out portions and I can just add it straight to the squash with some chunks of potato cut up in it and I have a complete delicious whole food plant-based meal at the snap and it's so so nice to have that convenience. So something else that I really love to do is to go ahead and wash my greens and dry them up really good and then I put them into a container wrapped up in a uh, flour sack towel or some other thin cloth because that draws moisture away from the greens throughout the week. Put it in the refrigerator and you're good to go and you will be amazed at how fresh that your greens will stay. I love doing this because like I said, it keeps them super duper fresh. And so who wants a yucky slimy salad? Because I definitely will not eat it if it's like that. And I also am way more likely to eat my salad if it's already prepped and ready to go washed up because that's kind of the worst part of making a salad is having to wash everything um, and get it ready to go. So go ahead and get that out of the way and you'll be sure to eat a whole lot more salads. It'll make it so much more convenient and get those greens in. But not least, some of my favorite things to do to make sure that I also stay on track is to make sure that I keep some frozen vegetables in my freezer. I love to keep like green beans and especially broccoli, um, maybe some frozen Brussels sprouts and especially the ones that I know I can throw in the microwave and steam them up real quick or just throw them in my steamer on the stove. Now a lot of people may not like using a microwave but 
I think it's better to use a microwave to cook things like that and stay on course than it is to not use it and just go completely off course and get lost in all of the details. So is it better that you use a microwave to cook broccoli or that you eat a bag of potato chips because you didn't want to use the microwave to cook the broccoli? I mean, what makes the most sense? It would be to cook the broccoli in the microwave. So just do you, just do what you can to make this lifestyle as easy as possible. And don't worry about the naysayers. Don't worry about the minute details. Just eat the food and it works, I'm telling you. I'm not, I don't always get every single thing prepped that I would love to pre get prepped, but this is a great foundation. And it means that I know that I have a meal in the refrigerator ready to go at the drop of a hat in an order Order to keep us on track and keep us eating healthy it's a lot and we love to eat um, whole food and fresh and healthy every single week so we have to make it a priority if that's what we're going to continue to do and this is my way to do that and I'm going to work on it um, along with you if you are interested in meal prepping give this a try let me know in the comments below what you think about this meal prep and how it made your life simpler for the week and thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and share it helps others that like this type of content find my channel and as always thanks so much for watching